Hi, this is Jason from Clipfolio. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a user input control combined with hidden data to change the filter on a particular clip. Now we're going to build on the clip we built last time called Revenue Booked, where we used hidden data to filter specifically for the year 2015. But in this example, we're going to add a drop down so that the user can select whether they want to see 2014, 2015, or all of the data. So let's get started. Here you can see the clip we built last time on the top. And below you can see that we have a new clip that looks very similar except it now has a drop down that allows us to select which years we're filtering by. So we're going to go ahead and edit the top clip. And then we're going to go over to the components and drag in the user input control. Now the way this drop down is going to influence the table below it is by using a variable. So we're going to go down and click on new variable. I'm going to name this one year four. And then I'm going to go over to values and select the year column. So now if we go click on our user input control, we're going to notice a couple things. First of all, the column header is there, but it's also showing every row of data. So we're going to start by adding a filter. And we're going to deselect all of the years and then exclude the word year. That will remove our column header. And then we're going to go ahead and group. Now you can see that only 2014 and 2015 show up. Now in the intro, you'll notice that we also had an option for all, which is quite easy. When you're on the properties for user input control, just scroll down to all data and click include all data option. Now we've got the user input control set up. We have a variable. However, it's still not connected to our table. So we're going to go to our hidden data which used to be filtered on 2015. We're going to change that filter to be a condition where it matches the variable that we set. So we're going to pick the variable year four and click filter. And so now our hidden data field uh, will filter depending on what is selected in the dropdown. And you can see as we change the values in the dropdown, our data in the table keeps updating. But when we select all, you'll notice there's a blank value. Um, so we're going to add a filter to get rid of that. We're going to go over to the month column and go down to filter. We're going to select just blank. We're going to exclude it and click filter. And there we go. Now we have our table that is connected to our user input control and we can now dynamically change which revenue numbers we're looking at based on that dropdown. And that ends our quick demo on how to dynamically filter a table using hidden data and a user input control. You can find more videos like this as well as our knowledge base and community forums at support.clipfolio.com.